Hello, I'm Robert Unsworth. I'm responsible for refrigeration for gear in the UK. I'm an engineer and uh, I'd just like to explain a process which is becoming very popular. Uh, and it's, we may as well use chickens as an example. So, so I find it really easier to, to draw our way through the, explaining the process because it, it's just a, a natural way to, uh, to explain what goes on. So if we have a factory where we're generating uh, 10,000 birds per hour uh, in a production line, then we uh, have to spray hot water at the birds uh, for defeathering them through scolders. Uh, at the same time, we are refrigerating the factory. So the factory is, is held typically about two degrees. So we have to remove the energy that's put in via the pumps, the motors, people, lighting, the heat that's coming in from outside. Uh, this all has to be removed. So if we're talking about 10,000 birds per hour, we're having to refrigerate the birds. That's about 900 kilowatts worth of heat we have to remove. Um, and uh, the factory would typically be between 1 and 2 megawatts to 1,000 to 2,000 kilowatts. So those two figures we remove. So we, now we have around about 2,000 kilowatts being removed via the refrigeration process. This, this 2,000 kilowatts is at a low temperature. So the refrigeration process means we have to reject it to the outside air. So we have to lift it from a low temperature the 2,000 kilowatts up to a higher temperature, typically about 35 degrees. Um, so, but it takes energy to do that via your refrigeration compressor. So, so to do 2,000 kilowatts worth of cooling, we have to put in another 300 kilowatts worth of electrical power in the refrigeration compressor. Both get combined and we reject both. So now we've got about 2,300 kilowatts we're rejecting at the condenser on the roof. And to reject that amount of heat, we have to evaporate water. And at 2,300, we'd be, we'd be using around about six cubic meters an hour of water. So if we combine that with a heat pump, rather than rejecting the heat at 35 degrees, we just simply boost it up to a useful temperature. So we boost it from 35 to 65. And then we use the cold water that you would normally be feeding the boiler system with through our heat pump and heat it up with, with the waste energy, which means that we've split the waste energy that you would re reject normally at the evaporative condenser, and then we, we, we're just boosting it up the proportion that we need to feed the factory. Uh, doing so means that we can potentially switch the boiler off, and at the same time, we can half the amount of energy that we're rejecting at the condenser. So we save the fan power and we save the water on the, on the condenser. So if we throw some figures at it, 10,000 birds per hour um, and yet circa 200 cubic meter for washdown at night time because the hygiene guys go wild, um, um, that equates to about 1,100 kilowatts worth of heat. If we then say that we're doing it with an 80% efficient boiler, we're burning 1,350 kilowatts worth of gas. Um, the cost of gas is about two cents per, per kilowatt. So that costs you around about 250,000 euros a year to generate the heat. Um, if we do that with the heat pump, just simply boosting the proportion from 35 to 65 means we use around about 80 kilowatts worth of electricity instead. 80 kilowatts at around about 10 cents per, per kilowatt hour uh, works out to about 70,000 uh, euros uh, per year. So we've saved around about 180,000 euros. Um, but not only that, because we're not burning a fossil fuel anymore, um, we, uh, to generate the 1,100 kilowatts we would, would mean we would generate around about 2,700 tonnes of CO2 now we're only using 80 kilowatts of electricity through a, a grid which is becoming ever more uh, green um, because we've all got fans in the, in the countryside generating low carbon electricity. Then, then the CO2 emissions go down to about 200, 220 tonnes of CO2. So you've saved around about 80% of your CO2 emissions and simply recovering the heat that you put into the bird in the first place. Um, so, so we're simply uh, you know, heat pumping around the factory. So basically that's how the process works. Um, now it's the same process whether you're making vegetables or you're pasteurizing milk. You take 
your product in, you heat it up, and then you ask the refrigeration people to cool it down. Unfortunately, in the process, we're normally the last in the line, so you've already bought your boiler by the time you've talking to the refrigeration people, including as earlier in the process, which means that maybe you don't need a boiler or a much smaller boiler, and the, the other things we don't need to buy as bigger condensers because we're going to be recovering that energy. So get us in talking earlier in the process, and you know instead of talking about half a percent increase in the performance on a compressor, we're talking about 30, 50, 70 percent better performance on your process.